Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. This is uh, Tracy and this is a tutorial for a blanket that I did um, way back when, when I first started my channel. And um, when I checked out the tutorial, I went on far too much. So I've decided to do it again. And this I called the Baby Bubbles Blanket. And um, I did it with different yarn last time, but this time I've done it in a DK weight, which is King Cole Beaches, and I edged it with um, Peter Pan DK. It's for a gift, so I wanted it to be super soft. Um, so all of the details of these yarns I've used and where you can get them are in the description box. And... Um, I've done a couple of swatches to show you. I don't really want to waffle on too much because that was the problem with the previous um, tutorial. Now this blanket is a fair size. It's quite a large pram blanket. I'll um, put all the details and dimensions in the description box. But I wanted to show you a couple of swatches that I did by changing the yarn. Now this is what it looks like with a chunky bulky five. And if you change colour, then this is the effect you get. So you either have this darker pink peeping through, or you can have it this way round and have the, the lighter pink kind of peeping through. But the bubbles or bobbles, whatever you want to, puffs, you want to call them, come more uh, to the front on the right way round. I also made it into a cowl. And for this one, I used a four weight. So I wanted to show you what it looks like with all the different yarns. And I'll put the details, as I said, in the description box below. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. While you're doing that, I'll just clear this away and we'll get started. Okay, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to use any four weight. So that's an Aran yarn. And the reason I'm doing that is because it might make it easier for you to see the stitches and what I'm doing with a larger uh, grade of yarn. So I'm using, um, like I said, a four weight and I'm also using a five and a half crochet hook. Okay, so you need to make your slip knot however you normally would. And this blanket or cowl, however you want to make it, um, is done in a multiple of three. Um, we don't really need a plus number unless you want it a certain width. It's plus another three. So just crochet in um, groups of three until you've got to the desired length or width that you want. I'm going to pause it while I do my little um, kind of swatch, enough, because if I start counting, it might put you off. So I'm just going to pause it for a second and I'll come back to you when I've done my chain. Okay, for the purposes of this swatch, I did 18, just to show you how to do this stitch, but it, you just need to just do it in multiples of three, so that's fine. So to start off, we're going to do UK treble, which is a double crochet in the US. I always say both terms just to make sure everyone knows what we're doing. And we count back one, two, three. And in the third chain, we're going to do a UK treble or a double crochet in the US. Nice and simple. So then we're going to skip two chain. So we're going to skip one, two. And in this one, we're going to do a UK double, which is a single crochet in the US. And then two trebles UK or doubles US in the same space. Don't worry if it gets a little baggy. That's fine. So what we've done is we've got the two chain at the end will be our first stitch. Then we've got the one in the same stitch, so that's two at the beginning. And then we've got a short stitch followed by the two big ones. So we're going to skip two and we're going to repeat that. So we're just going to insert and do our UK double US single, then two UK trebles or US doubles. And that is as simple as it gets. So skip, skip and go in the next and repeat that. I 
I chose a different colour hook so that you should be able to see it nice and easily. So we've got skip, skip again. A th cluster of three. Okay, so you're left with the last three. So in this last chain, we're going to do, sorry, I nearly did it wrong. In this last chain, we're just going to do a UK double or US single. I'm so used to doing the same at one end as I do the other, and it's not that way in this one. So when we turn over, you can see we've got these raised kind of bumps. So that, that's making our bubbles or bobbles, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to chain two. And in the same place that our chain comes out of, we're just going to do our second stitch, which is another UK treble or US double crochet. So now we're going to skip right over this and find that um, double crochet, which is a single in the US, remember. So we're skipping over those two there and we're getting to this one and we're just going to start our cluster all over again in that stitch. Exactly the same cluster as before. Okay, and then we're going to just skip over these two. We're going to find that little double crochet, little single crochet, and we're going to do our cluster in that stitch. Again, we're going to skip over this one. It's very simple, very good, uh, simple one row repeat, really. Um, first row being different because it was into chain, but it's exactly the same principle. Okay, so when we get to our last one, we're, oh, it's not the last one, is it? We're skipping over, well, it, it kind of is, but we need to do one more cluster before the end. Need to pull out some yarn, just bear with me a sec. Okay, so now we've reached the end. This is our stitch and these are our turning chains. So we're going to find the top one, which is right next to the stitch. And we're gonna go in there and finish off with our UK double or US single crochet. Then we're gonna turn and we're, we're making the raised bobbles on this side. Just need to pull out some more yarn. So I only did a little bit. Okay, so we're just going to repeat that again. So I'll, I'll do another row with you. We're going to chain two and in the same space, we're going to do another stitch, a UK treble or US double. We're going to skip over these two and in this one here, we're going to start our cluster. If you can hear beeping, it's my washing machine. plays a little song. Skip over these. If I go ahead of you, then just by all means, pause me, skip over. As you can see, it becomes very, oops a daisy, apart from pulling your stitches out, it becomes very easy to sit while you're watching TV or doing something. Because once you've got this little kind of sequence under your belt, that's all there is until you've finished. Okay, so we're going to, there's our stitch, there's our chain. Okay, and turn our work. So as you can see, it's starting to take shape. Now the only difference, as I said, if you want to, is you can change, change colour every row and it will give you this effect. So if you wanted to, you could do a variegated one there in a solid colour, like a complete contrast or just solid colours like I have. But that's the effect you get if you change colour every single row. Otherwise, we just carry on. So the border that I did for my blanket, I will show you that. We'll just do one more row and then I will show you how I did the border. I'll just pull more yarn. I didn't pull much. I want to show you another row because it 
but after a few rows you really see it start to take more shape when you've got the the reverse side coming through more nearly there whoops little more and our last chain okay so now you can see the effect it kind of you've got this contouring as i like to call it coming through and it's exactly the same on both sides the only way you know which way is the right way is your first row has the look of the front stitches if that's what you want at the front Okay, so I'm going to pause it for a second. I'm going to bring my blanket back in and I'm going to show you how I did the border. Okay, so the border, I just picked up stitches all the way around. So I ended off my colour and I picked up a corner and I did rows of UK double crochets or US single crochets and I think I did six one two three four five six I did I did six rows to get this nice kind of wide it's not massively wide but it's a nice wide little border for the blanket now what I was going to do then was rejoin the colour because this was a variegated yarn so as you can see it changes colour as we go around um, I picked up my colour and I did a whole round of this stitch all the way around. So if you, uh, when you get to the end, if it doesn't quite work out, it doesn't matter too much. Um, if you, instead of having two in between, you've got one. I just made sure it fitted all the way around the outside. Then I was going to pick up the white and go around and um, just so that it kind of had a little white finish. But my, my partner, Gary, said he preferred it as it was. So I've left it. But that is all I did was six rounds of um, UK doubles, which are US single crochet, and then one round of these kind of clusters. And that was it, finished. So I hope you like that. And I hope it's a lot better than the last time I did this tutorial. Um, details of the yarn, the hooks, um, everything down to the scissors that I use and everything will be in the description box, as well as the dimensions for this blanket and how many chain I made. This was done obviously in a DK. I will show you. I used three balls of this. Uh, uh, King Cole Beaches and this was my third ball so I did have well, perhaps half a ball left over roughly um, and I didn't use a whole ball of um, this either probably half half a ball so this is a 50 gram ball and the other one was 100 grams so it's not massive yarn eater by any means okay thank you for watching and uh, look out for all that information plus other details in the description box below thank you bye for now